is Saturday the 10th. We are day two. Day two, is that right? Yeah. Day two at Telabhadra. Um, house is all packed, we're out. Talia did an epic job of packing the whole house. Now we've got the task of fitting it all into the caravan, which Talia is also doing an epic job. <laughs> so we've got the Land Cruiser and the Prado, both packed to the brim with gear, and we've got to find a way to, I suppose, fit what we need and then get rid of everything else we don't to storage or the bin, I suppose. Um, we had our work Christmas party last night, which was fun. Um, Talia got food poisoning first or second night in the van, which is also fun. And we got to experience what vomiting is like in a caravan. How good was it? <laughs> hey Flav. Are you enjoying caravan life so far? Huh? You enjoying caravan life so far? Yeah. Yeah? Sophia and Rafa are just outside here somewhere. What are you guys doing? Killing the green ants. Oh, good. And I'm killing this. What's that? No, um, it's a coat hanger thing. The coat hanger? Yeah, coat hanger. Because I'm moving it because we're trying to make a trap. A trap for the green, green ant trap. You reckon you're going to catch them with those, do you? Yeah. All right. So we're at probably day, I don't know, what is it? It's Tuesday. We got here last Thursday. I'm not good at maths, but you can figure it out. And I haven't filmed a lot, to be honest, because I've just been a bit out of whack. Um, it's been a rough few days with all the moving and packing and unpacking and all that stuff. So I um, haven't recorded till now, but I'm back in a routine, sort of getting used to it. Um, so I decided I'd get back on the on the GoPro and tonight I'm cooking dinner so cooking a bit of spaghetti in the van all right so when I said I was out of whack before what I was meaning was um, it's just all been a bit chaotic getting into the van getting things packed and put away um, we still had cleaning and you know moving to do from the house so um yeah it's just been tough it's been a tough gig um i'm a routine monster so to have no routine and be out of routine was just really rough um but a couple of days ago got up went for a run um this morning got back to climbing with nate um started ticking off a few items off the list uh with the car and van just in the way of storage and setting things up so yeah i'm feeling better i think that's it's going to be an important thing for me is keeping routine and um yeah just getting back to a new normality so yeah it's been rough we knew it was going to be so it's good that we are getting progress it's part of the journey doing something new um so yeah, tell you what, if you love cooking in a big kitchen, don't move into a caravan. I'm just gonna crank that right down to a simmer. Just simmer for a couple of minutes there guys and you know, add salt to taste. <laughs> oh, how good. What's the verdict? I mean, it's not much to look at spaghetti in a pot, is it? Have a go like that though. I reckon I've done all right there. 
I'll give myself a, probably a 7 out of 10. <laughs> breakfast time in the van. What do you reckon, Sophie? Do you love breakfast? What are you having for breakfast this morning? Um, porridge. Porridge. Is that your favourite? What flavour porridge? Honey and cinnamon. Oh, wow. Well done. Is it a bit hot? Hey, so it is Thursday. We've been at Tally for a week now and it's time to leave. So we're packing up, almost packed up. We're off to Kira. I haven't even seen it, so it'll be cool to see what Kira's like. Uh, we have just arrived at Kira, Kira Caravan Park. And what happened at Kira Caravan Park? Oh, we got here and check-in was at 11 and then I got into the to speak to the lady and she's like so your site actually has a camper van on it and we can't get in touch with the guy who owns the camper van uh, so we waited for about 15 minutes and then turns out old mate went to work and just left his camper van here uh, even though checkout was meant to be at 10 a.m for him so yeah this the staff were awesome by the way um the girls were really apologetic for this guy who hasn't moved his motor home um and they uh, shuffled some stuff around for us so we could get a, a, another site. Um, so they were awesome, yeah. Um, the girls filled us in as well and told us there's a Corumban Wildlife Century are bringing some animals out uh, tomorrow. So we've signed the kids up for that so they can do a little, a little uh, wildlife experience, I suppose. It was, what was it, $24 for three kids? Yeah, eight So, I mean, those little things, um, are well and truly worth it in my opinion because it's little memories like that that the kids will just froth over. Well, the worst thing that you could probably imagine as far as caravan disasters go, or the worst, I couldn't even imagine it to be honest. I've just done. I won't go into too much detail now because I'm still in the guts of it, but uh, no one's hurt. That's all good. Um, I just did something really dumb, so I'm just going to tell you now so I can show you the, the mess uh, and I'll go into more detail later, but basically I flooded the caravan at our new spot, we just arrived at um, Kira and I flooded the caravan. Um, so this is what I'm currently dealing with. Everything had to come out of everywhere. Um, all the cupboards had to be emptied. Under there. Luckily the beds weren't wet, but some clothes got wet. Um, everything. If there was an ultimate, like, you know the face palm emoji? If there was an ultimate one for stuff that's really just like, just beyond the standard face palm, like a, just a, a face palm of absolute despair. That would be, it would be me right now. Just maybe like the face palm and the drag. I'm just gonna set this over here. I'm just doing a bit of work on the computer. Getting another video up on the tube. All the cool kids call it the tube. <laughs> Um, so, we got to Kira today and I thought it would be a great idea to wash our water tanks out. So, um, we've got three tanks in this van. Um, there's two drinking water tanks, I guess you could call it, and one grey water tank, which is where all our water from the sink, uh, both, the, both the basins and the shower goes into. So it was going really well. I washed out, um, I filled the two water tanks with a cleaning solution, flushed them, um, everything was working really well. I decided, um, for some reason, I'm going to show you this actually. For some reason, my, I don't know if you can see that. So this little tank here, that bottom one, is my grey water, it's coming up 100% full. 
So I don't know why, but it, the grey water is saying it's 100% full and I know it's not. So I decided that I was going to flush the grey water tank. Um, keeping in mind, we've been in our caravan for a week. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, so I turned the valve off that allows the water to flow out of the grey water tank. Um, I had locked it off and I connected the hose of the fresh water from the caravan site to the grey water tank to basically try and fill the grey water tank up with fresh water and then with the aim of just cranking that valve open and allowing all the yucky water to flush out and um, you know give us a bit of a clean tank to start with and in all of my wisdom I somehow managed to overflow the tanks and flood the caravan with grey water. <laughs> so good. So I flooded our new caravan with stinky grey water. Um, luckily there's no damage, no major damage. There was stink water all through the caravan. Um, it overflowed out of the sink and poured all through the kitchen cabinets. Um, may have broken the toaster or the kettle. Not a huge deal because, you know, they're cheap and wrap crap anyway. Um, but basically I was in the, I was outside and I heard the water flowing. So I ran back through and found water flowing through the floor. <laughs> Um, I don't, like I said, I don't think it did too much damage. I think we were pretty lucky. I had to pull all of the cabinetry out, or all of the cabinet um, drawers and things out, all of our um, non-perishables, cans, jars, Tupperware stuff. Uh, I, some of the kids' clothes got wet. It was pretty yuck. It was pretty bad. Um, so, man, what an adventure, eh? First week first week away in the van and I've managed to flood it with stink water so, <laughs> so so I'm really hoping that that came out better than what it looks um well this is part of the deal eh it's living in a caravan what are we gonna do Raph? Mm. how the snakes <laughs> what are we doing? holding the animals we're going to see some reptiles. Corumban Wildlife Century has brought some stuff out to Kira Caravan Park so the kids can have a little look and I think maybe they're allowed to hold them and take some photos, so it'll be cool. Go and see, eh? Excited? Mm -hmm. hmm? Now what do birds like to do? Try and eat them. Eat them. Yeah, but what do birds like doing? They like to eat, and then what happens after they eat? Okay. Hey, food! The next guys are gonna meet, and I'm gonna get a couple of volunteers. Can we have. Do you wanna have a look at this? Yeah. And you two can't eat as well. So we're gonna do. Now, are you scared of insects? No. Are you scared of insects? No. Are you scared of insects? Okay. Do we have another one? Yep. Do we want one more volunteer? Yeah. Okay. Oh, if you want, you can go take a walk around if you like and show those guys at the back. Very cool. So she's doing a readjust. Yeah, good work. Cool. Do you want to touch? No. She's really cool. As a bearded dragon, she's got a lot of personality. We started to target train her as well, which is really, really cool. It's for vet checks. So the way that we like to do it is to associate her with colours and with sound. And it's a full voluntary and she gets from water to Well done. Well done. She's really soft tied. Would you like to have a pat? Yeah. Do you want to pet it? <laughs> She's really friendly, I promise Rafi. She's very, very friendly. Two fingers, but it's a good boy. Good work. Oh, well done, you're so brave. Cool? Okay. Hey, we've got uh, yeah, thanks, Nina and Papa. And Winter and Lily. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and Ava's very excited. And, uh, we made Nina and Papa are over for a Barbie. A First Barbie at Kira. Really, really nice. Got some beautiful honey soy chicken skewers going on here. Oh yeah, look at the state of those. Got these from a local butcher up at the Strand. Yeah, There's a, we've got a park, uh, like a very local park, and it's in the caravan park. And it's really cool. It's got a giant bouncy pillow, and also it's got like this, like spinny thing, and it's got like a climbing wall and everything. It's so cool. Like if you come here one time, if you guys have a caravan or a tent, you need to check it out. Why are your eyes so big? I don't know. <laughs> 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 hey so what's up in the trees? Birdies. Yeah, what sort of birdies? Um, rainbow lorikeets. Rainbow lorikeets. You should see them, they're so cool. <laughs> He's showing everyone. You can see them. So many. Crapping all over me Barbie. Out of your dogs. Sunday fun day. Sundays. We've just been to church yeah. and it was our last Sunday. Uh, our yeah. last Sunday at church before we leave the Gold Coast. So it was a little bit sad. We had a few hugs with some of our friends. We also got these. So yeah. To say it's, it's 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 a weird weird feeling. It's sort of exciting to be doing what we're doing, but it's um, it's sad to leave people behind and feel like you're gonna miss out on stuff like you know nieces and nephews and friends, babies that are gonna be so big by the time we get back. But you know that's just part of it, I guess. And guess what? Our great grandparents were there today, also with um, Lib uh, Libby and Pete. So and, that was and fun. Also I'm getting it right. I could have food. Guys? Yeah. I can't even. Some cool new sets. Just trying that black one, the white one. I don't want to do too, more, too many more before Nate gets here because he'll be he'll be sad at me. Um, <laughs> but I'll um. Yeah, I'm gonna try and record a bit today because I think this might be this will be the last weekend I think that we climb. So I want to have some fun, create some memories, and bring this along with me. He's finally arrived. Nate Dog, aka Blue Eyes, aka Big Sexy. <laughs> oh, who else is here? This guy. Yeah. Hiya. You know why he wants to Gonna miss this guy, even though I never see him anyway. <laughs>
So we've been climbing for about three hours and the only reason I'm still here is because I'm waiting for the Land Cruiser to be finished at the Auto Aleki so I can drive it home. My hands are so sore. Not as sore as this guy's though. <laughs> Just getting back to uh, Kira from climbing. Talia's got the kids in the pool, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just walking in now. I'm gonna see if they're still in there and say hello to them. Hey! Do you wanna swim? Yeah. Come on. Show me. <laughs> is it on? Wow. Yeah. Hey, baby. Hi. Peace. Mm. Yeah. Hey, is it on there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So, I did a clip uh, on trying to make a roast pork for the first time, which didn't turn out that great. So, we went and bought the meter thermometer. It's basically like a thermometer that you stick in the meat and it sends the data of the um, cook to you to an app on your phone and gives you alerts and everything it's so sick um, so we're gonna give it round two and see how we go Talia's chucked this one on so it'll definitely be better so the alarm's just gone off on the meter telling me that we've got um, five minutes to go so you can see there it gives you the ambient temperature inside the barbie too it was at like one um 190 sort of thing the thermometer there we got it from the weather store in um where was it tweed tweed for like 200 bucks Tali just about had a heart attack and she saw it was 200 dollars but you know i said you can't put a price on good meat <laughs> you just can't <laughs> So we'll slice this dog up in a couple of minutes and we'll um, let you have a little sticky, eh? Get those taste buds salivating. Is that even a word? Yes. <laughs> I read the dictionary daily. Oh yeah, check out the new merch, Unified Merch. The rebrand done. Have a go at the back on him. And the even cuter thing. Yeah, the kids. Hey Soph, show us your shirt. Yeet! Look at this beauty. And the and little man oh, handsome. representing the tank. Show also. us your new hairdo, Russ. Show us your pipes, mate. Mum, look at my shirt, my work shirt. He got a mohawk today. Grow a bit from the middle. Can I swim, mm. Daddy? Swim. That's actually cooked really well. I'm um I'm very happy with that. So it gives you a, a little data readout of your cook and you can rate it and make notes the next time you cook it. If it wasn't right or there was something you want to change. It's pretty cool. Um alright, enough of that. I'm gonna eat. Lego friends. Oh, yo. From mommy and daddy. Oh, oh, bully rat. Bully rat. It gives you a bullet to help. Oh. Um, I'm going to 
Well, that's a good idea, Raph. Put your flippers on inside. What could possibly go wrong? You probably do. You. There's the first thing. Uh, I've got my Christmas present right here. The elixir of life. No, it's there. Amen. This is my oh. Cheers. What's your favourite present? Um, these dogs. Little dogs? What's your favourite present, Ruff? Um, I kind of like my waterproof shoes. Yeah, those waterproof shoes look pretty sick. What about you, Ave? What's your favourite present? I don't know, I really like the walkie-talkies that's for all of us, but Mum bought me matching toys. So, so the new man bag? Yeah. Because yeah, it is. Because it is. Yeah, Big brain. Holy dooly. Well, I'm hungry. That's a full murder set. Take it out of the plastic. Are you supposed to? Yeah. Have a look at it. On the blade. Get the dogs. Can I see? Hopefully I'm not cutting up any dogs with this. <laughs> what did you guys get? Oh. Wonky donkeys. Wonky donkeys. <laughs> Just got to call. It's the last session before we head off tomorrow morning for coughs. So I'm gonna meet Nate here. I'm sad to not be climbing, but pumped to get one more session. So I'll try and get a few bids today and have some fun. Yoo! New set with the big dog. Look at the abs on the dog. Oh, right. Hide your wives. Right, I'm going to get that green one. Beauty. We did get one. Climbing something is better than not climbing anything, they say. That's the climbing Confucius. <laughs> Confucius said, not climbing. Oh, how good. See you next year, Core. So, last session at Core today with Nate. You guys are probably sick of seeing climbing videos by now. Um, so, Tomorrow morning we're packing up and leaving the Goldie, so we're off to Coffs Harbour. Um, we've been at Kira for almost two weeks. It's been really good. We've sort of settled in a bit more now, so I thought we'd just sort of try and wrap up a episode of the vlog um, with asking Tales how she feels. Don't really get to, don't really get to see much of her, so. There she is. Hello. Um, so, leaving Kira tomorrow morning, 
Um, how do you feel? Uh, I'm excited. It's a weird, a weird feeling, I guess, leaving behind so many people that we love. But then it's kind of counteracted at the same time by excitement of places that we're going to go and see. Mm. Um, goodbyes were tough. Um, when I had to say goodbye to Susie, I lost my mind. <laughs> Dan, I was on the bed and Dan was like, okay. Susie was texting me like, I want to miss you. I'm like, me too. And then I just lost it for about half an hour crying on my bed. <laughs> so good. So um, many emotions. <laughs> and then we'll say goodbye to my mum tomorrow. So that'll probably be pretty hard too for me and my kids. But um, I'm sure that we'll see her throughout the year anyway. And thank goodness for FaceTime. Yeah, totally. Um, Kira. Kira and Tally. Which one did you like more, Kira or Tally? I liked Tally better. Yeah, Tally was nice. Yeah, I think Tally has heaps of really awesome things for the kids. The kids just absolutely frost that place. Yeah. When we first got here, they were like, we walked in and they're like, oh, this place yeah. sucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but now they're saying that they don't want to leave here either. So um, I think that they're going to love every place that we go to, hopefully. Yeah, they have been. They've been saying they're excited about going to um, Coffs Harbour as well. They like they're yeah. remembering that's where we're going. Sophia keeps saying, "Mum, we're going to Coffs Harbour." Yeah. So, so that's really cool. Yeah, it's been good. We've had good weather, mostly. We had a little bit of rain, but mostly good weather. I didn't end up getting the drone up because we're like right next to the airport, so um, it's not in the okay to fly zone. <laughs> I thought about throwing it up there anyway, but. I don't want to be that guy that's responsible for crushing a plane full of people. Um, it wouldn't be a good way to start the trip. Um, so yeah, we'll, um, we'll be leaving tomorrow morning. We'll probably cap this uh, episode off here and start again when we get to Coffs or maybe when we're on the road tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, how good, hey? How good. How good. See you in Coffs. See you later.